Yes, so hello and welcome <laughs> to this video. Just wondered, somehow it looks a bit different, yeah? Did I screw up? This is better, right? This view is a bit better. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not quite sure because it's in, this is in the browser and sometimes um, somehow the browser window is uh, different than in the recording before. So I have to adjust a little bit. Um, yeah, let's see. We have a, a rapid game here on DHS and I'm going to play with the white pieces here. I've got C4G3 on the board against Hmm, yeah. However, I, I will probably mispronounce this anyway, so I don't even try. Aras. Okay, so all oh, very normal moves. White's play is um, geared towards light square control. Black's uh, main choice is here to play with um, f5 or not this early bishop e6 maybe points towards him playing a quick queen to d7 being ready for bishop h3 no he goes bishop to e7 here hmm. a couple of things yeah, that i can do hmm. Even a simple knight f3 is not bad. I wonder why bishop e7, what the point of this move is. I mean, why exactly not knight f6 immediately or something? One thing that I wonder as well is... Um, I wonder, can I go b4 here immediately, trying to save the move rook b1? If he takes his rook b1, huh? That well, looks interesting. Let's try this move. I don't see anything particularly wrong with it. Maybe I can save rook b1, that would be interesting. So let's see what he does. If he takes it, I think I thought rook b1 and I'm getting b7 back. Well, that looks okay, I would assume. Um, and well, b5 is an annoying threat. Um, I don't know, he probably does not want to play knight a5. And the knight, I mean, it doesn't have really good square. Sometimes you can jump to d4, but here there is no e6 square to go to. I'm, I'm not quite sure what his move is. It looks a bit annoying. Knight uh, b4, rook b1, d5 doesn't work, I think, due to queen a4. It's uh, a little bit problematic. I don't see an obvious choice for him, really. Oftentimes, maybe queen d7 actually, queen d7 b5, knight to d8. This is something that makes some sense. Yeah, maybe queen d7. Hmm. It's uh, surprising. So b5, yeah. push the knight to a5. 
yeah that knight that's not a good uh, good square for this piece um so he will play some c6 probably and i will go a4 just ask this knight about his plans <clears throat> i wonder how to develop that's that's really not not that obvious knight f3 maybe or knight or e3 i think i go here it's just quicker <clears throat> castling next and knight d2 is also possible to open up the bishop's diagonal later if i feel i have to yeah well here i thought a4 just a4 so that c takes a takes can be played Don't, I don't see a really good continuation for him. Maybe knight f6 and continue to develop. d65 in the center would be, whoa, really? What do you want to do here? Like c5? That would be nice. There, yeah, I will castle. I mean, this um this is the most normal continuation so what is he up to hmm i wonder if bishop d2 is any good trying to maybe introduce the possibility of taking on a5 after a knight move but it's not so clear what it actually accomplishes. Bishop a3. Bishop a3 maybe. Knight e4 might be an interesting idea. Also bishop b4 sometimes. I kind of suspect that he will play c5 anyway. In this case, you can argue that the bishop is not well placed, actually. Huh. Hmm. No. I mean, it's not a big deal, but after c5 now, I mean, this is strategically uh, certainly a little bit dubious for black, but maybe not downright terrible if he goes c5 and then my bishop really looks a bit stupid well we'll see what his uh, plans are huh If I just take on e f uh, on c6, I would have really really nice control over the light squares. Maybe this is uh, a way to go, but currently he's not threatening c5 in any way, so this is not particularly urgent. Can I increase uh, the pressure there somehow? I mean, his next move will probably be castles. Hmm, no, I'm not quite sure how I can put more pressure here on c6. That uh, looks difficult to do. Hmm. Yeah, some something like that, but it's not super convincing. Maybe that tempts him into knight c5, after which I will happily take. 
my bishop is really not that great and it would lead to a position where I dominate on the light squares yeah we'll see knight c5 I will take I um, expect him to just castle here It's really the most obvious move eh, to castle. This one, nah, I don't know if this is so good. I can take some. I can take on c6 and play knight b5. That looks annoying. Yeah, it's it is. I don't need to think about this so long. This is just good. So, yeah, all captures seem promising, but this must be uh, must be a strong, which should be right, or the best one, let's say, because this is a fantastic square. So, yeah, this is um, oh, interesting. I mean, nah, come on. Let's do it, let's do it and play it simple. This is just simple and good. I just hack it off and check on c6. The resulting position is absolutely terrible for black. What I have to be aware of, however, is that bishop c6 it runs a5 after this. So um, probably this is better, yeah? just winning the a-pawn. I wanted to do that, like check, king moves, and then queen a4, but then a5 is a move. Well, actually, even that was playable because the a-pawn is too strong. But anyway, I win the a7-pawn, and that should be should be decisive. Yeah, the main thing is if you compare compare the bishops. Yeah, queen c7 was a was a really really bad move. So B6 is the target. Yeah, not not fun. There's also an absolutely weak square on D5. That would be a good square for my knight in the future. The knight on d2 currently is not um, perfectly placed. It uh, would really like to be on c3. But it's, it's fine. I mean, it's really fine. How to do it? Knight b1. Knight b1, c3, a4, these kind of maneuvers. Hmm. But a move that I like here is this one. This is uh, just putting the bishop on that secure square 
and I'm ready in some cases to just snap off the knight if it comes um, to d7 like this here I'm going to take this I know it looks maybe a little bit illogical but it is a strong maneuver because I get the knight now to d5 and that is um, a piece distribution which is hugely favorable for me the knight on d5 against that terribly bad bishop so I'm not unhappy about this trade of my bishop. It was a very strong piece, but it matters what you get, not what you've given up. And what I get is a dominating knight against a bad bishop. Those um, yeah, conversion, um, those op operation to convert in one uh, kind of an advantage into the other, this is really, um, really important. To, um, yeah, to evaluate those correctly. This was not the only way forward, but it is a way to yeah, put this, to make some progress, let's say, and uh, change the position to ultimately get a win. Yeah, so I, I guess e4 now. No, f4, wow. I was thinking e4 to undermine my position a little bit. Okay, so let's go knight d5 then. I expect bishop d8 and then I play rook a1 for rook a8. This one, okay. Can so bring the king up if I like. But there's no need really. I can also just do this and try to trade. And the bishop will never attack anything. I also have this simple maneuver to improve it. Improve the position, I mean. Yeah, I don't don't have a, an idea here to even fight. Okay take towards the center yeah we'll probably play king f7 or something like that Yeah, or this one. I like to trade one rook so that the remaining rook can enter here on the seventh rank or on the eighth rank. It, uh, one of those was unavoidable. Yeah, now the bishop cannot move and the rook is also limited. It can just shuffle between b8 and c8. So I have an easy plan. I just bring the king up and then see how he defends the e5 pawn. I guess he doesn't actually. Yeah, he tries to play uh, g5 and uh, g5 and h4. Hmm. I can actually play for a checkmate here. g5, king up. No, now he moves the bishop. Hmm. Yeah, well, that covers e5 for the time being. Hmm. 
Hmm. There's no way to play for mate. Huh? Would like to do that, but it doesn't really work. Okay, let's win the pawn then. B6 should be should be lost really. Okay. Not giving him a pawn. It's not necessary. Cannot defend b6 and e5. And the rook is not exactly having many squares. Let's just enter here with the king. Maybe uh, if I push the e pawn all the way up the board, maybe that will make him make him uh, resign this. It looks like complete torture anyway. No. Can almost play e4, e5, and so on, no matter what. Rook a8 and king c6 is also pretty strong. Okay, so Let's, let's bring the pawns up. Tries to go over there. But where are you putting your bishop actually? You cannot, he cannot cover it. And if he moves it, I'm going to just attack it. I think the bishop is almost almost gone. Now to h6. Okay. And let's run with the pawn. King to um, King to c6 is actually trapping the rook. That's funny. Rook has no square. Not a single square after King to c6. Yeah, he's really taking his sweet time in this. 
Totally busted position. Okay, now he resigned. Yeah, let's have a look at the game. So, who do we... What do we see? Oh, I made one blunder. What blunder did I make? Actually, maybe it's some kind of thing where I had plus 10 and I just had plus 3 or something like that. Where was the blunder? Blunder? F3. Blunder. Because it's just plus six or something. Okay, yeah, well, I can live with that. <laughs> when I, when you win with every move and you just play, I don't know, third best or what. So um, we had this English opening and uh, that's a completely normal position here. They usually play queen to d7. After which white has some, some choice, e4, e3, Rook B1, they're all decent moves. Yeah, after this, uh, I came up with this immediate B4. I'm, I'm not sure. I, I felt it is an interesting idea, and it uh, seems to, uh, yeah, it, it seemed that it, it threw him off a little bit. If he, uh, if he takes. Just thanked someone in the chat. Um, yeah, if he takes uh, queen b3 is actually even stronger than rook b1. Yeah, they both look good, but I mean th this must be must be fine. Something like that. Why it's why it's better. Um, okay, so he played the move bishop to d7. I was not quite sure what the point was. I mean, this was still kind of normal looking. White is probably a bit better here yeah, with the space, but nothing particularly impressive. Yeah, bishop d7 looked a bit like it loses time and puts uh, that knight on the edge of the board. Played a4 here. And now b6 is deemed inaccurate. Yeah, that it weakens the light squares, yeah, and particularly c6. This, this. Now I wasn't sure. Bishop a3 is even one of the engine's top three choices. Maybe knight d2 is better. I don't know. I wasn't sure later if this is really such a good square for the piece. Knight f6, knight d2, knight b7. Yeah, that looks kind of normal. Interestingly enough, queen c7 is not a mistake according to the computer. Because uh, because queen b8 is actually still uh, still playable. Okay, oh, I didn't quite didn't quite see this move. It's not very uh, difficult to see, but uh, I didn't quite have it on the radar. Yeah, I mean here white must have a little something, but it's it's nothing spectacular. The line that the engine gives is interesting because here it wants to go a5. Knight takes queen a4. Trying to use that that pin. This this. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, it still looks fairly promising. But after the capture, it's it's just it's just gone basically. The A file is too much. Yeah, I played this, and what I what I mentioned is that this is something that uh, was an issue. But I even during the recording, I realized that I can just take, of course, because this is not working for him. But there's nothing wrong with Queen A four. The the pawn just drops, and uh, this this is just a winning position. Bishop h3, yeah, maybe, but that is a technical win and, and an easy one. Yeah, taking was making things easier. But, um, yeah, 
I was expecting him to play e4, some some sort of move to, I don't know, stir up some trouble. I don't know what trouble exactly, but just to do something active. Um, I would have played knight d5, just ignore everything and uh, play a, a very strong knight against very weak bishop scenario where I'm a pawn up. The d pawn is not um, going to queen anytime soon, but it's still important to keep the pawn chain. Yeah, f4. And uh, yeah, I'm slowly even getting a bigger advantage. Yeah, king e4. Where, what was that blunder that the engine says? Oh, okay, rook b6. Yeah, of course. I mean, I saw that, that I can take there, but I mean, he can he cannot move. I mean, f3 is completely enough. Just a very simple, very simple win here with the pawns marching, marching home. Yeah, okay, guys. Thanks for watching.